Hi everyone, this is Gouache Watercolor and Stuff. My name is Bob Bickle, and the image you see before you is a gouache watercolor I did of a bluebird. I painted it on a crescent mat board. If you want another particular color, uh, Noted in the description below. Paint I'm using is Windsor & Newton gouache designer watercolor. And what I did was on the bird itself and the painting, I go outbound to the border of the mat board that's covering it. The colors I used on this painting were titanium white, ivory black, Van Dyke brown, sepia, burnt sienna, cobalt blue, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, and purple. It's surprising uh, how much purple I use in most of my paintings. The brushes I'm using are silver brushes. The manufacturer of them is silver, and they are particularly called black velvet. I'm using a number eight round and These black velvet watercolor brushes that I use in most of my uh, watercolor paintings, um, the black velvet, they are a squirrel and synthetic mix. And as far as watercolor brushes go, I haven't ever ran across a brush as good as these. Even the sable brushes just don't hold up to the use that these black velvets give me. They are just truly a wonderful watercolor brush. Let me explain what gouache watercolor is. It's an opaque watercolor in that uh, they put a agent in there that um, is opaque. I think it's something like a white chalk. And in putting that agent in, they have to add more pigment. So the colors are more vibrant in order to block out that opaque binder that they use in it. This is very different than painting with a transparent watercolor in that the transparent color uh, require a lot more planning as to how you lay down your paint. Opaque gouache watercolors are kind of forgiving. You don't have to do that much planning because in most cases you can uh, paint over another paint and it will not, it will cover it or it will not show through on the color that's underneath it. I like using gouache because there's uh, a lot less prior planning in doing your painting. So uh, I hope you enjoy this video.
And also, let me explain the mat board. These paintings are more or less a study of a particular animal, this being a bird. And I'm not putting in backgrounds. So there's no wash involved in these paintings. So what I'm doing is wet on dry. So by using that method, I can use these mat boards, which add a nice color background. You don't want to use these mat boards for wash because they're not designed to take the wash. Most watercolor papers have a surface treatment that allows you to put water on them and it doesn't lift the fibers of the paper. Uh, these mat boards do not have that treatment on the top of the paper and that treatment is called sizing. Uh, the mat boards lack that sizing. So when you're doing a study like this, we're only doing a, a minute part of the actual mat board surface. So you can get away with painting wet on dry. Now in painting with gouache, rather than transparent watercolors, the beauty about the gouache being able to put a color on top of another and you won't get uh, transparency. But when I paint gouache, I use the rules for transparent in that normally you leave the white of the paper for your whites because transparent white watercolor does not do very well as a white. You only use white transparent watercolor to uh, lighten a color or to put a glaze over top of something else. Um, transparent watercolor artists, I truly amazed at what they can do. Uh, I'm just not one of them. I don't have the patience or the know-how to do transparent watercolor. I envy those people. Well, friends, we're at the end of this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed my explanation of why I do the things I do. And uh, if you got any questions or comments, please add them below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're so inclined, please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell. And until I see you again, I hope you do well. Take care. Bye now.